gorgeous, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be analysing the pot. I'm very excited for today's video, this is not going to be like any other video I have recorded here on the channel as of yet because this will not be a first time reaction. I know the band Tool, I am a fan, I've actually brought in the physical copy of this 10,000 Days album that the pot is on. You basically look through these little eye holes and the two become one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a fetus in a skull. Oh, it's all 3D and oh my goodness. I want you to see how cool this is. A guy called Alex Gray designs all this stuff. I have some of his little postcards here. Blimey, she goes on a bit, doesn't she? I'm sorry. Let's get cracking. So we're gonna get really deep inside the music and inside the lyrics. So you might want a nice fluffy blanket for this one and a cookie. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I never noticed that pre-delay before in the who are cool. A rock song starting a cappella. It's bold and it's ambiguous. Listen out for that little pre-echo because it does set a really eerie ambience. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. It's there too. I hold deep in muddy waters, you practically raised the dead. Rob the grave to <laughs> snow the cradle, then burn the evidence down. Ah, the bass lines. One of the most special things about Tool, that's like a silly end, but one of the most special things, the intricacy of the bass part, these Justin Chancellor bass lines, kind of carry everyone, musicians and non-musicians, on this musical boat <laughs> to sail you through some really complex irregular time signatures. I think some of the greatest kinds of music are when the music element is extremely intricate and complex, but the composers are so excellent and composing because they want to make music rather than they want to make something complicated and therefore kind of mask the complexity of it, enabling everyone to enjoy it. Another example of that in a different genre would be Stevie Wonder. Those songs are f***ing crazy complex. Long as I know I have love, I can make it. You've enjoyed them your whole life, everyone sings along and you're like, I'm gonna learn it and then you sit down to work it out and you're like, Tool is the pinnacle of that and it's what inspired me to play bass and I know a lot of other people that play bass were born from the Tool womb. But of course, a groovy bass line is one thing, but a wonderful groovy bass line that locks in with a wonderful groovy drum part is another. And the drummer, Danny Carey, has one of the most elaborate drum rigs you've ever seen in your life. Not only does he have like all the regular drum ingredients, but he also has a whole little wall of pads that trigger different kinds of Eastern drums as well. He's got tablers and God knows what else going on. Cause they're not so conventional. It's so exciting and once is just not enough. Let's go to the section where they kick in and notice how they just blend so beautifully with the bass part and recognize those different timbres and just, let's just get in, let's get inside it. See that's not a rock drum kit. <laughs> And notice how it's panned if you have headphones on, it's travelling. So box house of cars and glass, so don't go toss your stones. There's our texture coming in in the guitar. You must have been It's 
starting to become clear how everything in the lyrics is mirrored by the music. In the verses where they're referring to all of the erroneous behaviours by humans that are causing a lot of tension and problems, we feel a lot of tension in the music because although the bass and the drums come together, they also don't. And that is a contradiction. <laughs> A beautiful musical artistic contradiction. And then when we get out of the musical muddy waters and we get into the chorus theme that kind of summarises the whole show as you must have been high. Everything makes sense now. All is right with the world. This 4-4 four, four time signature is exposed for what it is the same way as the human is exposed for what they are, I guess, which would be high. Must have been. Hi. What you talking about? See that note was kind of unresolved as well because all of these issues are unresolved, so is that melodic note. Difficult to dance round this one till you pull it out. <laughs> ah. And so now the lyrics resolve at the same time as the music. Oh boy, sort of resolves nicely in that chord. And that is the solution. Just pull it out, boy. What's he pulling out? Ah yes, his foot from his mouth and his um, head from betwixt his ass. Cool! <laughs> oh. So we've got to the same place. You must have been high. But we got there in a very different way. Never know what's coming next. And the cool thing about this bass line, as opposed to a lot of the tool bass lines, is the time signature for the pot is probably one of the easiest on paper because I think it's in 4-4 four, four for a lot of it. It might change later, but we'll get to that. But it sounds so complicated because of where the beats sit. If you're not familiar with the concept of time signature, you can just think of it as the most obvious place to count and how many beats feel natural to count before we want to come back to one again. So it's in the same time signature as a lot of really basic pop songs like Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. And so when we take that example, we get a lot of obvious clues when the beat is renewing to one again. Like, I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. And now my heart is burning too. The, <clears throat> the one comes in very obviously and we can all groove and count to four with no questions. But this song doesn't have those same obvious clues on the one. This little verse section is very difficult to count and a lot of why that is is because of the relationship between the bass and the drums. They have a very complex marriage going on. It's like a syncopation festival in here. They're emphasizing all kinds of crazy beats. It's not easy at all. It's very tense. And that's the point. When we're looking at these lyrics, we can be doubly sure that the point is tension. <laughs> it's about hypocrisy. All of the lyrics are filled with expressions that we use to describe people that are being hypocritical, like waving your finger, throwing around stones in glass houses, foot in your mouth, head up your ass, dancing around the truth, and then obviously the title of the song, The Pot, referring to that phrase of the pot calling the kettle black. The lyrics alone are a really good reason to love this song. There's a lot of wisdom we can extract. And they managed to highlight a lot of socio-political issues in a really disarming way, because you're enjoying this really fabulous, cool, intricate, mesmerizing rock song but you're also absorbing this spiritual wisdom as well i don't think it's any accident that tall 
are probably the only rock band that managed to escape unscathed from classic rock and roll lifestyle bollocks. They've been performing live for freaking 30 years at least, you know, like Maynard James Keenan has a bloody vineyard. It's an enriching, uplifting experience to listen to the rock music of Tool. And rock as a genre gets flooded with music containing themes that are just not very interesting or productive. Tool is the antithesis of that. relationships he has with the I vow that comes all the time in this song. That melisma matches quite well because if you got lemon juice in your eye you would kind of be like ah, ah, ah. and then when he comes to the same I vow but he's not saying I he's saying hi he attacks that onset with the huh Sounds like he's laughing, like a scoff type of laugh. <laughs> you must have been high, Sunny. So the lead vocal melody here now is different. It has gone up, aka Hi. everything is generally higher than where it was before. Eyeballs deep in muddy. It's high the whole time. So the tension is building there, and also the lyrics. You know, he hasn't sworn. Well, he swore a little bit. He said ass. Is ass a swear word? I feel so weird when I say ass because I want to say ass because that's how English people say it, but that sounds weirder. I'd never use that word, I would just say bum. He's directly addressing what he's trying to say now, like fing hypocrite, you know? It's angrier and more direct. The word painting is truly immaculate. The way that the melody reflects the message, especially the way it progresses throughout the song, it's so illustrative and it really allows the message to penetrate us and understand fully what he's trying to achieve with this. The more you listen to it, the syncopation makes more and more sense. You get used to it. Just gonna rewind that little section for us to notice the octave pedal on the bass, how it switches up there without it sliding. This is important for what comes later. Baseline is so pretty. Like it's different each time. Oh. So this little riff we've got, it plays the role of bass, but it's actually the guitar. And because of that little octavey pedal and many other pedals that Justin Chancellor uses, this kind of. These ambient sounds are 
actually coming from the bass player, which is so cool and creative. Everyone's lane is merging into the other. Ah, the little chomps are coming. <laughs> It's actually very short. They managed to fit so much into such a short space of time. It's a constant feeling of anticipation, which is another reason why Tool is such an accessible band for everyone, even if they're not traditional rock or metal lovers. Because we get all those exciting little ear treats, like what you get in pop music, but it's just so much more complex and deeper and like more beautiful. The other thing I forgot to bring up is the drugs thing. I think people think that this song is about drugs more than it actually is because it's called The Pot. The, the Pot thing I believe is a double entendre with The Pot calling the kettle black and also referring to marijuana. But if you notice the way he says ganja please at the end, it's coming up. I'm pretty sure that's intended to be sarcastic because it's almost as if society and the government or whatever blames too much on drugs. I don't think this is a song pro-drugs or against drugs. Oh, it's just the best. The tactical, tasteful use of screams. So this big, lovely one. <laughs> starts as a belt like a ma and then gradually that resonance starts to evolve he's got to loosen the vocal folds to allow that little fry situation to occur and therefore adjust the breath pressure it's very difficult to control this so gradually from a belt to a fry especially to keep it so even and perfect for so long ah! The way to practice this is not to push harder. If you do that, the chances are you're gonna be slamming more breath pressure into an environment that's gonna get tighter and it's not gonna like it very much. You're gonna get a lot of irritation. So instead you have to kind of imagine it peeling back. So I would definitely recommend practicing your vocal fry and see if you can turn your fry into a creak and just practice the pitchless fry screams on their own. sort of thing. Ah, well that was such a blessing to be able to share that song with you. I'm really, really glad it won the poll for the Fairy Folk Friday. You all have commendable taste and I'm very excited <laughs> to see which song you choose for us next week. Let's read out today's oracle card. Watch me while I manifest my dreams. Put those hot manifesting powers to good use. Mole can see all, but knows exactly where he is going. Believe!
so you don't have to take it from me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers you would like to see me react to, please do let me know down below in the comments as it is always my pleasure. Don't forget, if you would like to, you can join our Patreon and vote for the Fairy Folk Friday choice every week like the one that was voted for today. If you're joining me at the premiere, then big premiere hug for you. If you are watching any other time though, big hug for you anyway. I hope you have a beautiful day. Love you loads. And I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye. This is gonna be so fun. Oh, it, it would be more fun if I um, plug my headphones in. I've had too many cookies today already. So let's just say ass. Anyway, we don't need to say ass. Can you put your eye holes in here and see? Does it work like that? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, love. Blimey, we haven't even started yet.